Let's start with the big question. What are these network effects? Well, network effects occur when the value of a product or service is increased by the number of users, sellers, and or buyers who use it. There's a lot to say on this, but this is a high-tech glossary video, so I'm going to stick to two main things. You need to know about direct and indirect network effects. Direct network effects mean that more users of the same type make the product or service more desirable to other users of that same type. So, you know how when you go to a pretty empty restaurant they ask you to sit by the window? All the studies show this makes it more likely for other people to come in. If there are two equally good restaurants with very similar menus, people will choose the one that already has some people inside. Other people being in the restaurant makes the restaurant seem better. Now, there are physical limits to this. We don't want to go to a crowded restaurant, for example. But in the digital world, there's a lot more space to fit people in. You might hear this phenomenon referred to as homophily, and social networks are big beneficiaries, because you can't not be on certain social networks if everyone you know is on there, right? I could handle my own communicative needs with a few cups and a piece of string, but I'm still on Facebook. This is also an example of the selfish herd theory. We want other people to take the plunge before we do. Adelie penguins hold back before jumping into the Antarctic waters in case there are some hungry seals in there. Eventually, a couple of intrepid penguins take the risk and others watch. If it's safe, they know they can jump in too. So if other people are eating the restaurant's food, it must be all right, at least not poisoned. If the app has enough positive reviews, it must be safe to download. If you were the only person on WhatsApp, you'd get pretty bored of sending yourself memes, no matter how funny they were. So the value of the product increases in relation to the size of the network. The product itself stays the same at its heart. It has the same functionality, but its value, and therefore the customer's willingness to pay, increases as more people use it. Indirect network effects occur when more participants on one side of a platform mean more value on another side. So let's stick with our restaurant theme. If I'm on Uber Eats, and I wouldn't be because I'm quite the chef, it matters less to me that there are other people on there looking for food. I know they're needed to keep the business going, but it really doesn't matter to me if the neighbours or some of my friends are on Uber Eats at the same time. What I want is for there to be exquisite restaurants. For their part, these restaurants want there to be lots of cash-rich customers, which, to be fair, might actually rule me out. As customers join the platform, then that attracts more restaurants, because what do they want? Customers. As more restaurants join, then more customers join, because they've got more choice, and so on. And hopefully the competition means lower prices. It's a nice theory, and when it works in practice, it is incredibly powerful. But which comes first? Customers or restaurants? Why would customers join when no restaurants are on there and vice versa? Well, it's a classic chicken and egg problem and what most platforms do in this instance is they subsidize one side with very attractive offers, Uber with free rides and that sort of thing, in order to attract the other side and it kickstarts the network effects. In Google's case, they offered up free, pretty effective search to users and even, if you can remember those days, free listings for businesses. Then it introduced a third customer type, the advertisers who were all too happy to pay to connect with customers. The customers were happy because they were still getting free, pretty effective search. So network effects occur when the value of a product or service is increased by the number of users, sellers, and or buyers who use it. For more weekly high-tech glossary, follow and subscribe.